an extraordinary example of how civilization might be in the 25th century, where sustaining a population of tens of millions is made possible by innovative processes. Like these skyscraper farms, each vertical greenhouse contains a diverse assortment of produce and can provide enough food to sustain a whole district. In Asianopolis, food scarcity will be a thing of the past. And it was mankind's ingenuity in the 21st century that could bring food production to such grand heights. With a land area of just 716 square kilometers and a population of more than 5 million, Singapore is one of the densest countries in the world. With so little space, large-scale food production is not something the country can afford. In terms of food security, Singapore would like to produce as much food as we can locally. However, with the available farmlands, we can only produce about 7% of the vegetable supply to Singapore. With a rapidly increasing population, this is not enough to ensure the country's food resilience in the future. In the 1980s, the government tried to maximize yields by introducing intensive agro-technology farms. High-tech methods such as hydroponic and aeroponic farming were applied. But even with these farms, Singapore still struggles to generate a sustainable supply of produce. Inventor Jack Ung is determined to change this, and his solution is to go upwards, where space is limitless. In Singapore, our land is limited. If we want to produce our own foods, we must go up, just like our animals do. Like a high-rise building. Jack used to be a construction engineer, but after almost 30 years in the industry, he called it quits to pursue a higher calling. My wife asked me, "Are you sure?" Every person's eyes, the farming is a poor-man's industry. Life is not only about making money, but about making a living. So I hope that by using my skills, I can build a system to let our Singaporeans have a safe and stable food supply. I think this is the most important thing. If we don't do this, the next generation will have to deal with it. They will be very happy. It took Jack two years to develop his solution, the Agogro system, a high-yield and highly compact vertical farming tower. But Jack discovered that while stacking vegetables upwards increased yields, it brought along a host of other problems. Growing vegetables vertically meant each layer would receive different amounts of sunlight, requiring artificial lighting. And bringing plants higher off the ground meant water would need to be pumped up to them. Jack did not want such an energy-intensive system. His farm had to be sustainable and cost-effective. His solution was simple. Rotation, bring the vegetables to what they need instead of the other way around. Key to this system is a unique energy-saving feature, Jack's patented water pulley system. This is our water pulley system. We use the water to move the water. The water pulley system is the A-S system. We use the water to move the water to the sun and to the sun. Every plant can reach the top of the tower and receive adequate sunlight. Each tower only needs half a litre of water and a small amount of electricity to rotate completely. And instead of pumping water up, the vegetables are brought down to a water trough. Compared to conventional farming, there is little runoff with this method. With his cost-effective, a go-grow design, 
Jack's Farm is the first in the world to turn vertical farming into a commercial reality. But Jack's dedication to an eco-friendly solution has left his vegetables vulnerable to another problem, pests. Refusing to use pesticides, Jack has implemented a number of measures to minimize their threat. Just months in operation, Jack's farm is already commercially viable. Traditionally, our farmers can produce about 200 tons of uh, vegetables annually per hectare of land. And with our system, we can produce 1,000. And the modular design of the Agogro system means it can be scaled up and set up virtually anywhere and bring domestic food production to another level. We hope that with this system, we could at least achieve 40% of the total supply of vegetables in Singapore. A system like ours could possibly produce enough vegetables for the whole city. Jack's vertical system is proof that even with little land, food self-sufficiency is possible.